Morgan here with another meal prep grocery haul video. What's good? How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a fabulous day. Um, update that roast that I did last week. Mm, phenomenal. Good. Everything was banging. So definitely I'll have the links down below um, to where if you want to sign up for the meal plan, you definitely can. You can also find free meals on elise ellis's instagram so i will have that link down below so i hope you guys enjoy the video be sure to click all the bells and whistles down below so you are alerted when these videos drop all right let's get the prepping all right guys here is our small little walmart grocery haul uh, we got some carrots here, fruits and veggies. Um, the strawberries looked really good this week, so I got two of them. I love strawberries with my breakfast. And then the carrots are for a recipe. I got me some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Um, I had to get this for a recipe, ground mustard. This, well, this thing was $4. Oh, God. I hate buying spices. Uh, some tortilla strips. Chicken broth, beet broth. That's for some soup we're going to be making. Eggs, of course, for Brecky. Um, Got red enchilada sauce. Some kern, some black beans, and diced tomatoes with green chilies. That's all going to be for one recipe. And this, they had fajita seasoned chicken. So I was like, ooh, let me get that. Um, Y'all, meal prep does not have to be hard. It called, her recipe called for a pound of chicken. I got a pound of chicken, so... Um, yeah, convenient and easy. So, boom, done. Got me some ice cream fudge brownie. That sounded so good. I've been craving chocolate, so, yeah. Uh, got me what plants crave. I uh, got my electrolytes right there. Uh, it's not sponsored. <laughs> I got these. These were so cool. They're, um, meal prep containers. Um, I've already got some, but Cody melted about four of them last week because he left it on the stove while it was on. Um, so, But these, they've got the two compartment ones and then they've just got the regular ones and they were cute colors. So I was like, yeah, let's just go ahead and get that. Look at that. And they were cheap. I think it's like not even 10 bucks for 15 of them. So we're good. Got me some ink for my printer and got some fabric softener and an onion. So that's it for Walmart. All right, guys, and this is our small Sam's Club haul. Sorry for the dog. <coughs> Crock out there. So these pop chips are new. I haven't seen them before, but look, each bag, Fiona, there's sour cream and onion, sea salt, and barbecue, and they're just 100 calories each. So I was like, why heck yeah, since I'm on this cut. Y'all, <laughs> yeah, y'all, yeah. I thought that would be super nice to have to switch out my baked chips because that cuts like 60 to 40 calories there. So, um, also got me some magnesium. Um, here lately, I've been having some bad cramps and muscle tightness. So, like, I've been getting Charlie horses like nothing. So, Loki. Say hi, buddy. Say hi. God. And, of course, my fair life. There, I got the salted caramel. That's number one. And I thought this was a better deal. We go through Greek yogurt like nobody's freaking business. This was only $4 for 40 ounces. Um, the macros aren't as great as the Chobani, but I was like, oh, we can sacrifice that for the price. So, yeah, I got two of these. And we will fly through them. It was a better deal than getting two from Walmart, but... That is our small little uh, $50 Sam's Club haul. All right, guys, here we got our first meal. If you watched last week's video, um, you would have saw this too. Um, this is going to be the roast and gravy here. So we've got all of our ingredients. And this time I was actually able to find a chuck roast, which is what she said in the recipe. Um, can we just check out this this damn thing was $25. It better be good. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe I paid that much for it anyways because I'm a cheap ass. But the roast turned out really, 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 really good last time. So, I'm excited to try this one. I don't know if I've ever had chuck roast. I guess it's a leaner meat. I don't know. But I got it. So, yep. This is everything. So, let's get to prepping. Alright guys. So, here we go. We are starting with the 
a slow cooker roast here and what I'll be doing is the same in the last video I will be adding my seasonings um, and I will be searing this in the pan on both sides for about three to four minutes make sure it gets nice and crispy on both sides So what I've done here, I'm just mixing all my liquids and seasonings. I've already got the meat in the crock pot. So I'm adding that balsamic vinegar, the Worcestershire, some onion powder. And we're just going to whisk that together and pour it over the top. And we'll be setting this on a low setting. And I cooked this one for about eight hours. <laughs> side for my roast this is going to be the brown sugar glazed carrot sorry if you hear my dishwasher going but yep that's it and these are all the ingredients now i did call for i can't believe it's not butter light but this is what i had on hand so that's what i'm going to use and i've got this swerve brown sugar replacement so yeah zero calories so yep yeah, let's get to prepping all right guys so here i will be cutting up my carrots in a diagonal way this was harder than it looks and what i'll be doing is i have got my pan heated up to a medium i think it's medium medium high i don't know but i will be adding butter the carrots the brown sugar all that jazz into a pan i'll melt the butter and the brown sugar a little bit and then i'll be adding the carrots and just make sure that they are well coated i'll stir them around and then we'll put them on a pan and we will be baking them um, for, I think it's 12 to 15 minutes at, I don't remember what temperature, I'm sorry, but yeah, we're just gonna...
this is the roast and the carrots. As you can see, I did run out of carrots. Um, I thought I weighed them out correctly. Apparently I didn't because I only got enough for four. And it says it makes six servings. So yeah, I must have not weighed them out correctly, but it's okay. I'll just use that one for Friday. But in this meal here, you see it's 346 calories. 24 carb, 10.8 fat, and 37 protein. That is pretty good. Now, I will say, I don't feel like this is a, a large serving of carrots. Um, I feel like I got more with the mashed potatoes, but we'll see how this works out. If I, you know, if I eat it and I don't feel full, then we'll just do the mashed potatoes again. But, yep, that is it. Can't beat it for under 400 calories and, like, like 37 grams of protein. That's pretty crazy, but that is it. All right, guys, here is the ingredients for the next meal. This is Elise Ellis's chicken enchilada soup. Um, I think I've got everything here. I think the only thing that I'm missing here is the butter, but I ain't got a big counter, and this recipe calls for kind of a lot of seasonings and crap. So um, I used this last week. It was a different. This is the Fajita seasoned chicken. I was like, oh, that will be perfect this is actually all they had and i'm like that will be so perfect for this so i'm super excited to have that got all my spices here i had to buy this one it called for ground mustard i ain't never used this in my life this thing was four dollars like sheesh um but salt pepper i've got black beans i've got corn i've got red enchilada sauce uh, diced tomatoes, chicken broth, always. I got these. The recipe didn't call for them, but in the picture that she has, it had these, and I was like, ooh, that's cool. And the macros aren't bad, 35 calories for one serving. I was like, that'll, that'll be a nice little topper. Garlic, um, I don't even know how to say that, but I'm assuming this is just cream cheese. Um, it's just fancy word for it, but this is actually what called in her recipe, but so... I got the Velveeta cheddar and Walmart finally had this. I love this because it melts so nicely. Um, so yeah, it's processed cheese, but I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Cause you know, we are trying to cut here and I will take what I can get. So macros are very good on these and the flavor is amazing. Like I love Velveeta. Got Greek yogurt and all that jazz. So let's get to prepping. Alright guys, so I have got my pan here. I have got some butter and onions here that I'm sautéing. I will be adding um, some garlic here and I'll be... Oh, oh, chicken broth. Never mind. So yeah, I'll be adding all the ingredients for this soup. Um, chicken broth. The Yeah, I'll just be adding everything into this pot and I'll bring it to a boil and then a low simmer for about i think it said 15 to 20 minutes i can't remember i'm sorry but yeah i'm just gonna add all the ingredients and we're gonna get the pot stirring <laughs>
guys i have added all my ingredients here and look at this soup girl it smells so good it's creamy um i did have to melt the cheese a little bit longer but that's all right it turned out good so look at that mm, don't it look good soup it smells so yummy um i got five servings and i barely i think i barely got one more in there so it it did say it makes six servings um so that one is the last one and i don't think that's going to be one serving but one serving here is 16.20 ounces so i've weighed each of them out um they did go over like one or two ounces like it's okay but anyways, um, the total, including the little tortilla strips that I got, is 397 calories, 35 carbs, 16 fat, and 28 protein. That's almost 30 grams of protein. So, yeah, soup makes you feel full, and protein keeps you satiated. So, definitely a win-win in my book for something that's under 400 calories. I mean, yeah, can't beat it. All right, everybody, that is it for this week's meal prep. I hope you found some inspiration. <laughs> Sorry, there, you're crazy. You gave up your mama. Quit, 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 quit. All right, guys, um, I will try to have some updates on those pop chips. I'm super excited to try those. They look yummy, and they're only 100 calories a bag. So, yes, Sam's Club for the win. So, like I said, I'll have everything linked down below if you want to check out Instagram and check out that meal plan. Um, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. I've loved it so far and I'm only like two months in. So great, yeah, great um, meals to choose from and stuff like that. Like low calorie, high protein meals. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are my motivation. I appreciate every single one of you who comment, like, and subscribe. So thank you so much. And that's it for this week's meal prep. Y'all stay amazing. Bye.